Tomas, Chris was saying that these last couple off days that he really used them to, to get on the same page with you and apologize to you guys for you know, maybe maybe not doing that sooner. Just what were those conversations like and why was tonight so different? Um, I just thought we uh, had a good conversation before the game. Uh, we always meet prior to the game and I uh, thought we, we had a productive meeting and just getting on the same page. Not that we weren't before, but maybe we just weren't. Uh, I guess executing what we had talked about prior to the game, but uh, no, he did an amazing job tonight. We, uh, I think, we more went more into details of what we wanted to do, how we wanted to to, to do certain things, and and he was on on uh, on point tonight. It was awesome. He took the blame, put it solely on himself. Said that that you know he felt uncomfortable out there, but it was because he hadn't really communicated exactly what he wants to do. From a catcher's perspective, when the pitcher does that, the way that he says that he did, how much more comfortable is it for you back there as well, just calling the game? Uh, you know, you always appreciate it when somebody says something like that, but it's not just him. It's, I think uh, it goes both ways. Sorry. Uh, it goes both ways. And, uh, you know, we are, we're both to blame there. Um, you know, thankfully it's in the past, and we learn from that. You know, it's better that to happen now. And that way we can learn from it, get on the same page, and, and have nights like tonight. What is the biggest difference for you with a, a night like tonight for him versus when he's been struggling? It's getting ahead, strike one. You uh, you get ahead and uh, attack these hitters. You put them in a much uncomfortable position. Uh, when you strike, you get strike one. Kerbo was working. Um, I thought you know we we threw a, a lot of sinkers, curveballs, and uh, you know moved the fastball around. When did he? seek you out for those extra conversations between starts? Um, I can't pinpoint. You know, we have a lot going on, but uh, you know, we just had the conversation. That's all well, that matters. I guess, was it, was it, it was, but it was more than the regular pregame conversation today. It was some, some, something between the two starts. Um, just we talk. I mean, we, we were together every day, sure. all day. So uh, just, you know, it wasn't anything like, you know, we went out of the way and, and really – made a, an issue or, or a big deal about it. So we uh, just uh, how we meet every time um, and, and we talk about starts. Sometimes we have uh, better conversations and and today prior to the game it was uh, it was uh, more detailed and, and we went more into depth than uh, than before and, and obviously it paid off. How much is that necessary I guess with a guy like him who is unique in the number of pitches he throws and the even within those pitches, the variations of, of those pitches. Yeah, it's, uh, it's different, um, but it's a lot of fun. When you have a guy like that, you have so many weapons uh, that you can put to use in, in different ways. So that, that was another thing, you know, going back, I uh, there was times that I, I, I thought we sh were trying different things and they just weren't working. So today we, we went a different route and it worked.